Yes, Mr. Avery. Tell me more about the Collegiate Sales Academy program. Yes, um, Brandy, it is a program that I have been working on uh, a little bit as far as putting together a sales program for collegiate students. Okay. One of the things that I've noticed is that there's about 2,600 universities around the United States, but there's only about 10 to 15% of them has a sales curriculum program mm. for people that are in, in college at this particular time. Okay. And so when you take a look at the statistics between business graduates who typically 50% of them will have a, their first job in sales. Right. And then you look at marketing uh, graduates, there it goes between 75 and 80%. And so I just felt that there was a little bit a gap there because when you have conversations with uh, staffing companies, a lot of times they're saying that some of the resumes that they're getting are great resumes, great GPAs, but they're lacking some soft skills and some okay. hard skills right. and some sales. And if you're going into a sales company or you, your first job is sales, typically the in order to, for you to advance quickly mm -hmm. is by your knowledge of just understanding sales. Okay, and It's not so much understanding the product that they have at this particular time, it's just understanding how the sales uh, uh, quantum works. Right. And and I'll tell you my experience. When I, I went to school for uh, human resource, okay. but when I got out of school, I, I couldn't find a job that paid enough. And so I, I took a sales job at an automotive dealership and uh, I was successful enough for about 10 and a half months, mm -hmm. you know, before I, I didn't hit the quota, but I was successful enough to make it, but I didn't have any skill set or anything like that. And I did have the belief that I could be successful, but I didn't, I didn't bring anything to the table. Okay, and right. so I was at a job, really, they didn't train you a whole lot, and so it was on me. And so over the 30 years between managing dealerships, training that I've done, and I own my own sales training company now, is that I thought there's a need. Oh yeah. There's a need to try to, as our mission here at our company is to mentor and develop the next generation of sales leaders. Okay. And the one way that we can do that is to make sure that they are prepared mentally and physically for a sales opportunity. And so if you're in college right now and you've made a decision, you know, first of all, on what your major wants to be, mm -hmm. typically by the time you're a junior or a senior, it starts to narrow down. And for some of them, that business degree starts turning into a sales, starts turning into entrepreneurship, and therefore sales is at the top of the, the, the scale of what jobs are going to be available. Okay. You know, most of our successful leaders that's out there right now business-wise is sales. If you own your own company, you're, you're selling. And right. so to be able to take a college student, give them the basics of what it takes to win the sales game mm -hmm. right now is crucial and they can do this right along what they're doing to other academics. Our program is meant to take you from the beginning, which is one, to find out self-awareness, find out what your behavior is. Okay. Because what people don't know is that there's several different types of sales. And so you want to match up, first of all, to the sales industry that matches up to your behavior. Mm -hmm. You right. don't want to get into an industry that's going to ask you to do something that you're not real comfortable in doing it. Right. And so you may also be in an industry to where there's really not any negotiation price wise, but you have to be able to ask the right questions okay, to find right. out from the customer what's your pain points and then determine that your product that you are marketing or your company is marketing works for that what that pain point is. Right. So you have to be able to not about price, but you have to be able to ask the right questions and to be able to answer the questions that they have and put your product in place. Right. After that, then comes the awareness of following up with customers, making sure that you understand that, yes, I might not sell a customer first time today, mm. but I might sell them next week. So I need to have a good account management system. Okay. I need to be able to put my customers in there, be able to call my customers at the right time and be able to figure out what I need to do objective wise to get them back in. And so we take a, 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 a student from A to Z, okay. we make sure with our Collegiate Sales Academy, there's a certification for going through the program. Mm -hmm. It's also a program that you'll be able to go back and look at 
and, and, and refresh your mind. Even once you've graduated, if you're a freshman, love to love to have you in the program. Okay. If you're a graduate, you need to be in a program. Yeah. Whether it's whether it's from us or anybody, I recommend always getting extra coaching and extra training okay. for what you're trying to do. Right. The fear of a salesperson is that they're not prepared. We have a saying at our company. Your success will be determined by the level of your preparation. Okay, right. If you're prepared, you're going to be real successful. Right. If you're not prepared, and what more value can you bring to a company that you're going to, that you just got hired from is to bring value to them right from the beginning. Right, right. Because if they can shorten that curve on that learning curve that they're going to put you through their sales training program mm-hmm. and get you out there selling product quicker, mm-hmm. it's an advantage to the company. And then right. also for you for your own personal career. Right. So we work with the, the students as far as our sales academy program, putting them in the right position to have a better career, a better future from the get go. One, I would have loved to have some training before I got into oh, yeah. the sales industry. Right. I just didn't know I was getting into it. And that's what happens with a lot of students who are graduating and they got the resume in their hand. But so is other thousand kids too. Right. Secondly, we want to work with universities. You know, we want to be able to, if you want an in-person um, speaker to come in and, and, and do sales training, live sales training right in front of your classroom, take your students from A to Z or whatever that they might want to know so that we can help eliminate and put these individuals in a better situation instead of having them fail because they didn't have all the resources. Right. And so we want to definitely work with them. And then last, we work with uh, staffing companies to try to help find opportunities okay. for those who go through our academy program because we want to help them get the job. Now that you have the resume and you've got the certificate, we want to help them find jobs at the same time too. And so if you're a college student, if you're a professor, if you're an entrepreneur, we'd love to have a discussion with you and see how our program can help the thousands of of college graduates that are graduating that, d- that don't have the sales skills according to the statistics that we're looking at. Okay. And so for more information, we have a text number below. Okay. Just reach out to us through the text number. Mm-hmm. And if you have a question about the program, that's the best way for us to answer the question about the program. If you want to know, if you want, if you're a professor and you want to know more about the program, just reach out to us right there. Love to have a conversation with you and looking forward to, um, Taking this next generation to the oh, next yeah. level. Yes, yes. Thank you. Yes.